go get the rest of the popcorn. Cindy? Oh, forget it. I am not falling for it again. So I don't know, everyone's kind of like reacting to this video. Uh, the original tweet uh, appears to be engagement bait because I'm not exactly sure what's going on, what everybody's having some sort of hot take about this for. I thought it'd be a great, a great thing to react, react to. So we're all familiar with like a lot of these weirdo day in the life um, you know, like a lot of these, like, oh, it's a day in the life of some, you know, Silicon Valley brat who has no real responsibilities or some sort of things like that. This is like the, the a guy doing the most normal thing imaginable. And it's like uh, being framed to say this is the one of the most disturbing videos I've ever watched. Now... I had the same reaction as Matt Walsh did. Matt Walsh said, the reactions to this guy's video are so over the top and hysterical, they have to assume everyone must be joking. It's literally just a video of a guy going to work, doing some errands, then coming home. What's disturbing about that? If What is he supposed to be doing every day? This is day-to-day -day life for almost everyone on the planet. If you profess to be disturbed by this, what does your daily routine look like is it really that much more exciting than this? Or do you find human excellence itself, existence, sorry, to be miserable, miserable of its very nature? You see this life after college, 28-year-old with a nine-to-five. Um, like, I don't really know. Like, I, I think it's a meme. I, I assume it's a meme. Uh, the quote tweets are, you know, if we look at this guy, it's like a sh pretty short video. So I'm going to, I won't have the music play because it'll, the video will get claimed, but this is life after college, 28 year old with a nine to five. So he gets to work. He works seven to four. That's actually a, a better shift, but that's a longer day. So I wonder if he works. Monday to Thursday is seven to four um, is a longer than an eight hour day. Um, so, you know, uh, we'll, we, so he gets to his little cube. So most of the morning checking emails and knocking out small items. If you were me, when I went to work every day, I would do that the, the night before. I never let that sit until the next morning. I'd want to get to work right away when I got in there. Take your lunch at 11. Okay, that's kind of early. Looks like he's got a pretty good lunch there to me. Looks like a pretty delicious quesadilla. And they must serve that at the office. So that's a good dilla to have at the office. So wherever he works has a pretty nice restaurant, it would appear. Clean up, go back to work. I am always one. Uh, I've always been one that... Uh, that I don't like eating at my desk um, because then it's like you never leave. But if, if um, me eating at my desk means I get to leave earlier, then I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like to take a lunch break. I was never one of those people that like take a lunch break, like a one hour lunch break. So if you think, oh, seven to four is common because you get a one hour lunch break, I wouldn't want an hour for lunch. I'd rather eat a sandwich at my desk and work from seven to three. Um, the weird, the, the weird businesses I have been at some where they like force you to take a lunch break. Uh, when I worked at Walmart, it was like that. You have to take a lunch break. Even if I, if I was like, I'd rather work six and a half hours and you know, not take a lunch break. Cause I think whatever the cutoff was where I worked, I think it was six hours or something for a lunch break. And then they'd schedule me for like seven hours. I'm like, that's stupid. 
So I have to take a lunch break on a seven hour shift. I'd rather just get done in six hours and not take a lunch break. If, if it was an hour for us, that, that would actually be the most annoying thing imaginable. Um, but yeah, so then he looks like he's doing some very basic, basic, uh, I assume this is a meme for like the women who do these like, oh, this is a day in the life working for Facebook. Unfortunately, he has a Stanley Cup, which is kind of like an NPC thing. Normalize the norm, as Cup says. Okay. By the way, he's married. He's a 28-year-old married man who's got a steady job, it would appear. He appears to be very fit, by the way. Has time to go grocery shopping on the way home. Looks like he's buying healthy food, fruits, vegetables, milk, and Cliff Bars. Which is, uh, I mean, it looks extremely fit. And then it looks like maybe he's selling. <laughs> I don't know. He's got a. Now he goes to test time for the gym, I assume. So he does some workout. It's still light out. And then he's doing uh, creatine. Looks like something. Some sort of protein shake. I, I don't really understand. I don't understand what's weird about that. I, I don't I've seen other versions. I think this guy has done other versions where he like uh works out. I mean, I'm not going to quote tweet this and engage with it because it's it's so weird. Like if I'm looking at some of the quote tweets, a lot of right wing forgets that the West ran well because cogs in the machine like this guy. For every Napoleon or Washington, there's was a man in a factory doing boring bureaucratic work. It didn't just come from aesthetic memes and militaristic vibes. Eudaimonia says, this is how 95% of people who went to college and studied business live today. If they went to law school, basically the same but worse hours. Why is everyone acting like this is disturbing, earth-shattering, and otherwise weird? Yeah, I don't really know that. Like... I don't I don't really dude work seven to four. Am I supposed to feel bad? Plenty of time with hobbies. I'm not sure. I, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get what these people want. Would they be life his life less depressing if he was working twelve hours a day? I I don't know. It, it's is it monotonous? Sure. Is this is the second tweet he's done about this dude? Keith finds being a normal and functioning member of society to be disturbing, which I think makes perfect sense. So I think that like maybe this is, I mean, this guy does do a lot of engagement bait, but I, I just can't, I don't understand why I keep seeing this video. Um, same thing here. Imagine living like this until the day you die. I think this is the same guy. So he's making a shake. It looks like the second part of the video. So he's got like his blender bottle, makes a shake. Yeah, this is the other video. Hey, wait, if it was trash day, then he should have taken the trash to the curb. Looks like he's got a nice car. Still a different Stanley Cup. That's my only complaint. Leaves for lunch. Goes to, goes to Chili's for lunch and has a beer? What's wrong with that? Bi He's eating mini sliders and he's like perfectly fit. I'm more jealous that he gets to eat whatever he wants. He left work to go to Chili's. Back to work before he finishing. This is just cringe. This has to just be cringe engagement bait. Leaves work at 4.30. What's wrong with this? This is like every day of my life when I worked in an office. Come home. He's got a good boy. By the way, he never shows the fact that he's married or at least he's wearing a wedding ring. He's got, looks like he's got a nice house with a nice fenced-in backyard. Seems like he's seems like he's living a pretty good life to me. Now I don't know if that was. A, I look like a beer to me, but I, I'm not one to put lime in a beer. I guess maybe if it's Corona. But I mean, he's having a beer with lunch. That's. I mean, I don't know what else that could be. He says for a cold snack and grub. I mean, maybe it's some maybe it's an Arnold Palmer or something. I don't know. 
I don't really understand. I don't understand the meme. I don't know if it's this guy's demeanor or just how empty his life seems, but this is the most depressing video I've ever seen. What do you mean? He looks like he's, he looks like he's having a pretty normal day. Is it because he wasn't protesting Gaza or was it, was it because I don't really understand what this meme is? People calling him a wage cuck. I, I don't really know. He's got his own house. He's got a nice backyard, looks manicured. He's married, has a beer for lunch, done at 430, has whatever, whatever this is, mini sliders or something. Other than the other than the Stanley Cup, there's really nothing. I don't see anything. And f seeing people like seeing people dunk on this guy, I don't really understand it. He seems like a totally normal guy. You see, I like the wedding ring, yet no sign of a wife or family in the video. Kind of undercuts the attempt. I mean, maybe he's trying to make it appear like he's trying to make it appear sad and frustrating but he seems like this dude's living the american dream to me he's got his own house he's got a dog fenced in backyard he's physically fit he looks like he's got a nice expensive stove he's got nice stuff in his house his wife probably works second shift he's got a nice watch looks like he had a newer car i don't really i don't i don't get it i don't get it I don't, th I don't think it's horrifying at all. He seems just like a normal dude to me. Maybe that's what engagement bait is nowadays. I don't understand it. Let me know if I'm missing something.